right now, our burn master, he's going to go ahead and ignite the fire, and we're going to watch it start growing. Now, keep in mind, our firefighters are here and ready to fight this fire. Now, when this thing does get going, it might get loud. It's going to get a pretty big fire, smoke. You're going to hear loud noises. It might be a little bit scary to some of you, but keep in mind, we have firefighters right here with a hose line ready to attack this fire. Now, there's your fire alarm already going off. So think right now, you're just now starting to hear that fire alarm in your house, and you're just now starting to wake up. Okay, now you're seeing the fire is starting to move up the back curtains, and it's going to reach the ceiling very quickly. Once it reaches the ceiling, it's going to start rolling over the top of the ceiling and across that ceiling. Now at this point, you're starting to see what we call a thermal layer is going to build up. You're going to have a lot of heat up at the ceiling level. That heat is going to start to drop lower and lower and lower and closer to the ground as it builds up. At this point, the fire is starting to preheat everything else in the room. You're seeing it starting to spread to the sofa. It's going to start spreading to the chair. And it's really going to start rolling across the ceiling here in a minute. Now there it is. There's your flame rollover on the ceiling. Now we're getting really close to flashover. You see the sofa's already smoking. We're almost there and it's getting ready to light off. And there it is. Yes. That is what we call a flashover. That whole room has now lit itself off. And we see we've reached that in a minute and 34 seconds. So one minute and 34 seconds is how long that took to happen. Now the plexiglass curtains drop, guys, hit it. All right, now our guys are gonna go ahead and make the fire attack. They knock it down a little bit, and then they move up close, and they start working the fire. This would be similar to what we would do in the real world. If that was a bedroom or a kitchen, that fire would have been rolling down the hallway. If it was a two-story house, it would have already been rolling up the stairs within about two minutes from the point it lights off. So when we say smoke detectors save lives, we are absolutely serious about that. Without the smoke detector, you would have very little chance of making it out of a fire like that.